Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I am unboxing something really special. Um, this is the first instrument that I have ever been sent to unbox and review, and I didn't have to pay for it. <laughs> so that is really exciting. Yay, milestone. Um, this is the Akla 16 string lyre. And I'm really excited to see what it's like. I have seen these a couple times and thought about getting one. Um, it's about $90, so that's a little bit outside of my, hey, let's splurge on this price range. Um, so now that I have one, let's see what it's like. <laughs> so one of the first things that I love about this package is it's really low profile. This is not a big or heavy item to carry up to my apartment. And uh, that is encouraging because hopefully this is not a big or heavy instrument because <laughs> sometimes it's really nice to have something you can just pick up and start playing. <laughs> not something that you have to haul across the room or, um, I mean, I'm a lot weaker than probably a lot of people. So for me, a harp is kind of a, kind of a journey, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> for other people, I'm sure it's not a big deal, but here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, goodness. Oh. Well, here is the bag with the liar itself in it. So we'll check that out in just a second. But a bunch of other accessories have fallen out, so let's grab those. <laughs> Okay, so let's start with all the accessories that we get in here. First is a big bag of strings, um, which is really awesome. And these are metal wound strings, which makes me really excited to hear the sound of this lyre. I do have another lyre that is that uses metal strings, and it only has seven, um, but I do really like the sound. Coming from guitar, I am a little less partial to the nylon that you usually find on harps. And so it's fun to have metal strings. I do hope that these are extras and not that I will have to string it myself because that's always tedious. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> and next is our little tuning wrench. Super cute. <laughs> and we've got a polishing cloth. It's in a nice little baggie here. And oh neat, it comes with a pickup as well. So these are usually not difficult to install. Um, you just take the pickup part and it has little adhesive bits and you stick it on the soundboard and plug it into your amp and you can probably make some cool noise happen. I am very excited for that. <laughs> and here is the bag with the liar. So let's open it up. Yay, it is already strung. That's wonderful. <laughs> I'm sure it's not totally in tune, but I'm very glad that it is strung. Oh, just look at that. That is solid mahogany from the description, which it is a little bit hefty, but not really heavy at all given its size. Um, it's really, really gorgeous wood. I just love that. <laughs> and here is a demo of this sound. I'm sure it's not in tune, but... Definitely not in tune, <laughs> but it actually does resonate really well in that little chamber. I like that. Here in the middle, you can see the logo from the manufacturer. That's the Aklot logo and 16 strings. Now, what I saw online was um, <clears throat> there were little carved um, letters to show which pitch you were on above the strings. I'm not seeing those on here. Um, so I have to take a look and see if we can find a manual and uh, then maybe we'll know which pitch each string is supposed to be at. Otherwise we might have to do some guesswork. <laughs> okay. So I've done some research online. Um, there was not a manual to tell you what notes to tune into, but I did find um, in the Amazon pictures some ideas. <laughs> so this is um, 
a two octave instrument with an extra second on top. So it is tuned G to G up here and then to G up here. Now I am not used to this um, configuration without any colored strings or any kind of markers for how to tell where you are. Um, so I'm brainstorming some ideas for <laughs> how to kind of find my way across these 16 strings. Um, Cause it's a lot <laughs> to just look at 16 strings with no, um, no ideas of where you're going. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and play some G chords for you so you can kind of get an idea of how this sounds. So here's your bass notes. And a little bit higher. Maybe this one. That's it. And then G up here. I really, really do love the sustain of those metal strings. It just sounds so absolutely gorgeous. I feel like this would be really good for meditative work. Like you could just sit and quietly kind of strum it and it would just sustain for ages and ages. <laughs> I just really love that sound. Um, and again, this wood is super gorgeous. Very smooth, very beautiful. I love that mahogany color. It's one of my absolute favorites. Um, and one other thing I wanted to note, uh, there are little eyelets down here where the strings are coming out of the wood, um, which is something I have noticed to be lacking on less expensive lyres or less expensive harps. Um, and it really makes a huge difference in tuning and in the longevity of the instrument because the strings aren't cutting into the wood down there. Um, so super happy about that. <laughs> Uh, so that is my unboxing of the Aquat 16 string liar. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> I will see you again next time. Bye. <laughs>